Welcome back to Summit Sunray, guys. I am here with Erin from Red Buffalo Cafe. Welcome. Hi, thanks for having me today. Yeah, so Red Buffalo Cafe has been a staple in this community for 10 years, you said. It so, has. Yeah, tell me a little bit about it. Well, we are your community coffee shop is how I like to say it. So when you want to know what is Summit County like, what's the town of Silverthorne like, you come into Red Buffalo or wherever you are. You want to find your local coffee shop when you're traveling because that's when you're going to get a sense of these are who the people are. These are the events going on. This is how this town feels. And that's what Red Buffalo is. We're, we consider ourselves a reflection of Silverthorne. So we're just a quarter mile north of the I-70 Silverthorne interstate exit. We're right next to the Silverthorne Performing Arts Center, the Silverthorne Pavilion. And it's just a great place to come get, one, an amazing beverage, and two, in a great spot that you can just hang out in. Or if you need to, I get it, we all have to go to work or uh, go on an adventure for the day. You can bring that drink out with you too. But uh, it's a great place just to come hang out and, and have your favorite drink. Yeah, great way to start the morning, afternoon. And a lot of people are looking for great workspaces in the community. So not only can you come in for your afternoon coffee or a nice beverage, but you can utilize that space to uh, get some work done. You can. I, I like to joke that nine o'clock on weekdays is just the home office hours open up at Red Buffalo. Because I know if I'm at home and I'm trying to get work done, I will clean the house, I will fold the laundry, I will do anything but the actual work on my computer that needs to get done. And coffee shops are such a great way to get that done and to commune with other people. And we do have outlets all over the place. So it's not like everyone's fighting over that one airport outlet. Um, we do have lots of them to come and hang out, get your stuff done, have your meetings. Um, when it is nice out, you can take your laptop out to the back patio. The Wi-Fi does reach out there. Um, I know we have some rain in the forecast coming up, so maybe that's not the best time to be out with your laptop. But our back patio is also right on the Blue River. So you just, now granted, that's another hard place to get work done for me because I just look at the river instead of my computer. It's almost peaceful and like the tranquility of it. You have a nice coffee, yes. a drink. But speaking of drinks, as we roll into summer and we're just getting through springtime yes. here, uh, what's on your menu? Well, we just launched our honey lavender latte, which is oh. so popular <laughs> over the summer months. It's made in-house. Uh, we get you know actual lavender petals and uh, we make our own lavender syrup. And it's really, really good in a latte. We also are gonna be doing the, um, we have matcha year round, but we'll have the tropical matcha milk. It's an iced matcha. So if you haven't had matcha, it's a powdered green tea and you get a lot more caffeine and antioxidants from it. And I really enjoy it for, as an iced beverage, because I know in the, in the winter we're thinking hot, 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 because let's face it, a hot drink is like a hug in a cup without having to go through physical contact with people you don't always need. <laughs> so uh, I really like our matcha lattes for that too. And then we'll do matcha fr uh, frappes if you want to try it blended. So all of those are going to be really fun spring drinks. And, you know, as you're going about in the town too, and um, like I said, I know uh, we got some events coming up community-wise. So town cleanup day is this coming Saturday. So whatever town you're in, in Summit County, Saturday is your town cleanup day. You can look at wherever your town will be meeting. Silverthorne is meeting at Rainbow Park and we'll have coffee and pastries provided there in the morning. But if you happen to be on your giant town mission and path and pass by Red Buffalo, it's another fun thing just to walk around with and, and sip a drink. Cause I know if I'm doing cleanup, it's, we always get like a drizzly day to mm. start town cleanup day. Yeah. <laughs> so a warm drink to walk around with could be really nice. Yeah, that sounds awesome. And I think the diversity of your menu really kind of offers something for everyone. So that's so great. Now, are you guys a typical coffee hour, like coffee shop hours, or do you have some later hours? Well, we like stay open till five, which is a little later than, um, you know, some coffee shops that would close at like two or one. Because I know that two o'clock is siesta hour and we're not in Spain, so like in terms of business, I can't actually go home and take a nap at two. So we are open all the way to five. You can get your anti-siesta coffee, and um, we do open at 6.30 as well. So if you're going out on the river to go fish or you have an early start to your work day, you can come into Red Buffalo. We'll get you all started. Well, you have it sorted for everyone. And if you guys are in and around town in Silverthorne or just need a quick beverage on your way through, make sure you guys stop by Red Mountain, or sorry, Red <laughs> Buffalo. Red Buffalo. <laughs> Cafe right. um, in Silverthorne by the Silverthorne Pavilion. Um, where can people find more information about you guys? Our website is really good. It's redbuffalocafe.com. Also finding us on Facebook and Instagram, also at Red Buffalo Cafe. We're going to post 
uh, more information on when we do our live music on Saturday mornings or when we have other special events. I know coming soon in the summer, we'll partner with the library for story time on the go for kids. How so fun. all that information will be on our Facebook page specifically for the events. Well, that's awesome. You guys have a lot going on and we really appreciate you coming by and filling Thanks us for in. Having me. And uh, I think I know where I'm going after the show today. So hopefully we'll see you there. Good start um, to Monday. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Right. Well, thanks so much. And uh, we'll be right back after this, guys.